Welcome back to our Soul Link. We're heading into uh, the Team Rocket, Team Galactic, whatever, HQ. <laughs> Where we'll have to fight Cyrus, eventually. Um, it's Team Rocket. They're just wearing different clothes. Where do you go in here? Okay, so you got to talk to the guy outside of the main building first, who's looking around, and he's talking about dropping a key. Oh, that's what I get for not talking yeah. to people. It's like, have we been here before? I feel like we've been here before. Alright, we're going to revive our Jinx. I don't know what the fuck took her out. Just remember to... I kept her, like, under-leveled because... Oh, we, we start in the warehouse, right. Well, yeah, you gotta talk to the guy first, and then go to the warehouse, and then look at the door. There's no indication that you have to look at the door, but Looker comes up and he's like, Hey, what's up? After you do. All right, Murkrow, this should work this time because I have not Avalanche on. On a desk stone. There. How you know you... kind of sucks is to lose access to uh, Rapid Spin. Although we haven't run into too many uh, hazard setters, have we? I feel like. Not too many. Is it in him a chance moose set or what? Which model? No, it, it, Tyro had it. Oh, and and him chance can't. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. We had uh, I think somebody used toxic spikes on us in one gym. Yeah, it's definitely oh, come up a few shit. times, but it's not getting uber spammed. Uh, Eric, I just yeah. seen the big news that uh broke a few hours ago i missed that you see oh, that I was one gonna bring it up but you guys oh. kept talking yeah well that's what we do here <laughs> uh yeah i mean i i want to say i'm surprised but after finding out about all the shit that happened backstage before his samoa joe match i'm i'm less shocked i was gonna what, ask you what you felt quit? about that no they terminated him they fired oh. him well Whoops. um i'm <laughs> sick of him at this point so <laughs> Yeah, it. I was happy when he came back, but yeah, he's been being a big fucking. So baby. is everyone, but yeah. yeah. That was that was yeah. a fun little misclick that resulted in a, the instant obliteration of Meganium. Who are we talking about? Rassle man. Yeah. The Rassle man. Yeah, the, the Pepsi, man. Pepsi man, Rassle man. Yeah, yeah, Pepsi Rassle man. This was the guy, um, that was probably about a year ago that he came back, right? Or was it longer? It was longer because he got hurt. A year and a half. Like yeah, that. yeah, the injuries keep kept setting it back. It, this was the one Which that is... we, we paused in episodes so we could watch his coming back speech, uh, yeah. Jesse. It's two years to the day, I think. And he oh, okay. turns out he's a huge, thin-skinned baby, which we knew, but, you know, there was a chance he could have grown up. Thought it'd be better this time around, yeah. yeah. No, he right. Didn't. Wait, but well, who, it was who more was so... this actually? CM, CM Punk. Punk. Oh, CM Punk, okay. Uh, I think it's more so that we thought that he was so bad in WWE because he wasn't in the goodest, the best races, like, because there were guys like Cena and, and Triple H. So it's like, oh, no wonder, you know, he's really good, but he's overlooked for the the nepotism guy. Well, maybe nepotism isn't right in this. Although you could make that argument with Triple H, because... Yeah. Dude slept his way to the top. Let's be honest. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Not well, yeah, I... and there's there's clout to his story about. I mean, he was sick, and uh, they weren't really doing the best uh, care for him yeah. medically. Oh yeah, he's because he's not the only one that's happened to. Like most of the thing, most all know, the and they have yeah. ring true. Yeah. And overwork. Well, they overwork fucking everybody. Yeah. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Yep. And they love the people that just grin and take it and get ran into the ground and don't, yep. you know, and just say, thank you, Vince, may I have another? So, yeah, there was always, there's pretty much always been legitimacy to his complaints. Even some of the AEW stuff isn't entirely wrong. 
he's just a huge fucking asshole about it. Yeah, he he just was not at all an adult about any of that stuff. No. And then he gets his own show, his own show, and he's still not happy. Like, yeah, because yeah. I got a like, lead imagine... on those berries. I'm gonna go investigate. Nice. <laughs> I, I legitimately wonder if uh, what should I call it? If he had taken the time to to stick with Collision and let it be his own show and like not pitch a fit over every little person who didn't fall in line with. Like... Well, it was like it was fine in the, in the beginning. He sort of made a made a glib remark about it on the first episode, and people thought that'd be it. But then, mm -hmm. like after one another episode, he, he just called. He just took some jabs at Hangman Page. It's like, right. oh, he's he's not letting it go. Found right. one. Nice, but yeah, he fully removed from the guy he apparently had such a problem with. All of the elite, yep. all of that. Like, okay, you get your own thing. You get your own spot. And yes, collision. Or uh, sorry, Dynamite's been built up for a course of years. So of course, that's still the main show. But if you look at SmackDown, well, I don't know if there was as much internal politics bullshit, but SmackDown got brought in just as The Rock show. Hence why yep. it's named fucking SmackDown. Yeah. And it's like, and that show has now become like the A show at times, depending on where they're putting people. Well, kind especially of thing. not, it's, it's the one that's on network television. So Yeah, so that's, I mean. That's the big contributor. And all, but that didn't happen overnight. SmackDown wasn't no, Raw's no, no. equal immediately. I mean, Raw like, used to be on uh, NBC for like a short while. Right. But there's no, a just, toxic uh, orb here. Uh, if anybody wants one of those. Neat. Not sure I have well, a use for it, but where is it? Uh, it's it right before you get the galactic key, so you can't miss oh, it. Oh, okay. Great. So uh, the so berries you... are in Crash Awakes Town, but you get one a day. Uh, and that's base game. Mm. So I got a poison one today. Oh yeah, boy. I think the idea is you're supposed to plant them and water them, and they grow a lot more of them. Yeah, I'm hoping there's some other place to get them in larger volume because it's no, a mom hack. I, but I'd... I, I'm pretty wouldn't be shocked at all. It's not the case that it's you're meant to plant them and water them and grow like five of them every day. It, yeah, that's what Nintendo intends, but that may not be what Triano intends. I hope it's not what Triano intends. Oh, there's a rock climb thing here. I forgot about that. Um. Okay, so here's the debate now, then. I, I've assured myself to get uh, Hitmonchan. That's done. That's over. Now, because it's minus physical attack, do I just say fuck it and push speed? Or do I try and go uh, against its nature and get attack out of this thing? You probably still want to go against its nature. I mean, I thought you said that's like the word. That's the pointless thing to do, though. Well, no, not pointless. I I don't remember what I had said that you were referring to, but it's not pointless. It's just you said like that the the returns for going against something's nature to try and bolster it up is like with EV training is a terrible idea once upon you a time. You gotta do I it sometimes. So like with my know. jinx, I had to do it. You flat out said something along those lines, Jesse. I'm not like that. The, I'm not that sure. the you yes, you said basically explained to me because I show me the tape. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll go through it at one <laughs> point here, but I flat out can tell you you did say it. You said like the the returns are not worth it to invest time into pushing an EV where the nature's against it because like some like oh point sixty six point six repeating of course like reason for this like hard I... number shit and I blew it off. That's not, I don't think that's true though. I mean, it doesn't mean I didn't say it, but I don't think I, if I did say it, I don't think it's accurate. Oh no, if Jesse said it, he's full of shit. Yeah. That's like yep. my Jinx is the exact example of that. You have to lean into special attack, even if it's got a bad special attack nature. Yep. So Hitmonchan, it's the highest base stats are oddly enough special defense followed by attack. So if you wanted to, what if, have you started raising it at all yet? Yeah, I had to, to. I raised defense because I have to guarantee okay. you the... You put some defense yeah. into it? Yeah. I, th I think you could make it a special defense wall a little bit. I don't mm. think you want to boost speed because you have priority mock punch anyway. So you might as well just take a hit, land a hit, and kill with mock punch priority. I don't think speed's worth it. It's not that fast anyway. Mm. Well, so, then I'm going to push attack then. Yeah, do attack and special defense, I think.
definitely like max out attack first, I think. Like first, I thought that was just a finite thing. You get so you get enough EVs on a Pokemon to max out two stats. Oh. So you've probably put enough into defense that you can't max out both attack and special defense. So it's probably better to max out attack and then have a good amount of special defense, but not max. So weirdly enough, the way it works, you get enough points to max out two stats and give like plus one to a third stat. Which is just, it's the way that, like, the rounding works or whatever, but it, it's always been very weird. Because you're like, a, a full EV stats run on a Pokemon is 252 to one stat, 252 to another stat, and four to a third stat. Hmm. And then there's like two points left over as a rounding error. I something like that. Good special defense. And We're then the, e the EV cap for a stat is 255, but 252 is... The last time a point put into it actually increases the stats. It's all, you know, game coding shit that they didn't expect anybody to ever know or look at, obviously. <laughs> oh, the naive 90s. Yeah. There's a lot of items in here, guys. Am I dead? Same nope. Also. This feels like a boss corridor to an estate. Might have to go back. To oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should I should no, have a state here. Oh, max revive. There was claws for that, right? Yeah, that's our first max revive, I think, then. Yeah, so don't forget that. Yeah, I don't think we ever had one. Yeah, we definitely didn't find one. There was a point in time where I was like, hey, we should do some max revive hunting, but maybe I looked it up and we didn't have any we could get. I believe it. Not exactly common. One, two, Cyrus three, doing his uh, four, opening five, scene seven, from Metal Gear six, Solid 2 thing. Seven. There should be eight max revives in base game, but I'm pretty... No, wait, I think that's a different thing I'm thinking of. Oh, no, it is. The Cyrus has got to be this way. Uh, so one of the but... max revives was in um, the the resort area, so that one might be just gone. From a trash can in the bungalow in the northeast of the hotel entrance requires rock climb. What? In the bungalow? There's a, uh, two beds here, and the first one I went into, and I went to click on it when I was inside of it, because sometimes that lets you rest. Uh, it had a poke doll in it. I thought that was cool. It's Not actually a nice touch. Um, well, I mean, Max yeah, revived, really and Joe found it. There is an argument Joe could use it to... to who did you want really poor... Uh, was it folktale, folklore? Uh, well, Mag Mortar was really good, but uh, I'll take a look and see what's going to benefit all of us the most. Yeah. It I, might be I, Our teams look pretty good for this fight. Do we really need to... Not for this fight. Yeah, I don't think we exactly. need to touch it. Um, the cat keeps making noise, though. So I guess right so is the argument with... Well, it's your... Yeah, yeah. I'll sure be right back. Left. All right. Yeah, I mean, but max revives are something we can right. sit on until we need them. Right, it's not like a, a fight clear one where we have to pull the trigger on it then, yeah. out of fairness. I uh, went to get up and look for him, and then I turned around, and he was in the room already. Like, he was not in here the whole time. He was making noise, because I was looking around in my chair. Now I'm kind of curious about that, the one I looked up just now on Bulbapedia. What, the Max Revive? Yeah. I might, I might, I didn't realize this place was also a big teleporter puzzle. I think I'm going to go look for that Max Revive. This fortress better not blow up. Now he's iron defensing. Too bad he's gonna get flamethrowered. It's a viper. That sounds like Doug Trio Central. Oh yeah, I remember this place. Good boy. 
Right, the hunters are on. This cat has been wired all day. I don't know what got into him. I brushed him earlier. Maybe that like totally jacked him up or something. Also, I feel like our box was looking a little thin, so these max revives are coming at a, a really good spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what exactly is going to round me off the best. I mean, I don't specifically need Mag Mortar for the fire, it's just that versatility that he has was awesome. Also just picked up Bullet Punch, so I have Mock and Bullet now. Hmm, interesting. And Drain Punch, all. Ooh, I totally spaced out Drain Punch. I TM'd him Drain Punch. Yeah, so you probably Drain want, like... Fast. So the set is probably ideally like Drain Punch, Mock Punch, and then like Bolt Beam Punch, Ice Punch and Lightning Punch, whatever, Thunder Punch, Skip Fire. Why Skip Fire? Because uh, Electric and Ice in combination make it so you can hit every Pokemon neutral. Or every every base type neutral at least, maybe not a combo of certain mons. I figure I just put on which ones are good for the upcoming. Yeah, fight that campaign. that's ultimately what it actually ends up being. But I always like to think of my ideal move sets for like all situations. I played that way specifically yeah. too sometimes in Nuzlocke's where I like can't edit move sets after like when I'm doing fights or whatever. I might have to go back. I didn't uh, do Max Revive in the trash can. Nice. Where? Uh, in that it's bungalow it, or whatever he went to. Yeah, the it, it's bungalow. the rock climb. It's the house you can only get to by rock climbing in the resort area. You go in there, you go into the trash can, Max Revive. That makes sense why it's rock climbable then. Yep. Alright. Save state before I start jumping through these. We can check for more items. This looks like an item zone. Yeah, there's a protein there. Yeah, I'm going to go maybe do a little bit more max revive hunting since so far they're um, not moved from base game. So Team Galactic HQ, was the one in Team Galactic HQ in a weird spot? Not really, no. Just uh, there's teleporters everywhere with items and you have to hunt Yeah, so the you just need to go through the teleporters. Okay. Um, this is probably the boss corridor here. That's definitely Cyrus standing up there. So there's and, one in uh, Mount Coronet somewhere. Florama Meadow and Platinum. Is that the upper part or something? Loroma Meadow? Meadow? Yeah. That's way uh, back. That's north of the uh, Florama Town, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah, that's very early game. It's got to be the back section or something. Which is yeah, yeah, maybe there's a rock climb over there or something. No, I think you have to surf down to it from the, uh, oh, okay. the Ironworks or whatever. That would make sense. 221 and 217 so there's one in the snow area it sounds like there were some rock climb areas in the snow area 221 is pal park yeah we didn't fuck around there long we just yeah. looked to see if there were tms there what were the two that you said are best jo jesse oh uh ice punch thunder punch okay those two i have okay i missed an item so i gotta go back to the uh, other entrance here. I think I just missed the one. You survived that? Damn. I always go the wrong way when I'm trying to get into the warehouse. I start running into the back lot area. And you have to run to the right and go up the stairs. Stop surviving my attacks, assholes. I think I fought all the trainers, though. Yep, this is the one. One of the ones I didn't go. Ooh, TM49 Snatch. <laughs> Land. Sea Snatch. This is... I know it's a dark move. Does it do any damage? No. It's just... Uh, 
Oh, it steals the effects of any healing or status changing move the foe attempts to use, okay. Okay, that is usable. I've never used it ever, but no, I, I could see I. The, ni the niche for that. I could see where that wins a fight. There's more items I haven't seen yet. Uh... Is this the max revive? Nope. Power herb. That's nice. This is not the way. Oh, I didn't heal. Are you another ace trainer? Oh my god. No. Okay, I have not been this way yet. Scyther. Eat shit. Ice beam. Oh, it tried to faint me. Uh, goodbye, Honchcrow. So, I didn't realize that you had the EVs to fully max two different stats. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just, you can... You have a certain amount of EVs and you can just put them all in the one or split them out or blah blah blah. I didn't realize that it stopped giving you EVs into something. Mm. So I have plenty of mons that might actually just be only half EV trained because I'm like, oh, I'll just push this stat and I can't do much about the other ones. Yeah, if you okay, have yeah, the yeah. power training item on them, it's uh, seven rounds seven. that you do right. to max them. Yeah, so I thought it would just, you meant like that literally was, you can do seven rounds, pick your seven fights carefully oh, and that's no. what you get. And then that, by the end of seven, you have allotted all the e industry. Seven gets you to 252. Yeah. Yeah, so it's seven on one, seven on the second stat, and then six more points somewhere. Which yeah, is like so one I, single Pokemon. What I had done a lot with, of times with the is, I, is I would do my uh, seven fights, but I'd give them the item for one and fight the other stuff. Or fight like a, the other stat that I wanted up. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. So yeah, I probably got a lot of mons that have half EVs and then a bunch of some natural ones too. Half max train, so. Did you know about the uh, the berries that the guy sells in the same same house that decrease any EVs uh, by 10 that you don't want? Oh, so you can undo something? Yes. Yeah. I did not know anything about that, but that's that is very again. useful. Because you pick them up on the road too, just fighting. Uh. Yeah, every Pokemon's worth one to three EVs. Right. That I knew, and that's why these mons you're up against are what they are, is because these ones are three EVs apiece. Like, I think Magikarp is a three EV speed. Magikarp's so, probably so just like, one speed. I thought it was actually like a good EV train, something like that. Or maybe that's because they give so little XP that you don't level yeah. before you get all the EVs. I think it's that and like the fact that you can essentially guarantee them with rods in a lot of areas. Like the big thing with EV training in like a real Pokemon game is you you need a good place to like and a good rate of killing mons to get the EVs. Right? If you have to run from five out of six Pokemon because they give you the wrong stats, it takes fucking forever and that's another reason why i just never bothered with that shit yeah. until gen 6 when they gave you here just play this mini game and you get evs okay Th this oh, might be training in gen 6 right get the shit out of that i think this Same. is the first game where i've done it a lot i definitely did it a little bit in um heart gold soul silver Drano hack but it wasn't like i'm gonna you know ev train every pokemon or i'm gonna like monitor my evs it was like oh i have this new radicate i'm gonna use I need to level it up. I'm going to go specifically grind speed EVs while I level up. Stuff like that. I can tell you I never did it in any of our races. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. no time. I think I was going to do hyper training in the uh, the one, but never bothered with in when we did uh, XY. The, on the newer ones, can't you even, like, buff their IVs with something? I thought the food stuff did Large that. Large southern Might, patch of yeah. grass in the upper right corner of the grass hidden. Here? Like Here? the sandwiches in the new new one, you mean? I thought something like that was like there. I know that there's uh, 
what else was it? There was like the sandwich mechanic, and then they had a, like a picnic mechanic in uh, Sword and Shield too. Arbos Southeast. I thought it was another kind of training, though. Like, well, wasn't there super training, and then there was hyper training? Like, and one of them was EV, one of them was IV or something. Maybe you had to use items for the IV ones. Yeah, there was like the bottle cap mechanics. That's that the one I was thinking of. There was gold bottle stone. cap that gives you a 31 or something. What the fuck? I went the wrong way now. Oh, Farfetch, release me. I just want this max revive. Well, I cleared out the... Oh, you get frustration in here was the last item I was chasing down. And that, that's weirdly late. I'm yeah, I'm surprised that he didn't like change the mechanics on that because it's uh, not super useful unless you keep something hating you. And then it doesn't it do the same as return if it hates you fully? Yes. But it's always like decreasing because fighting with it makes it like you. Right. Walking with it makes you like you. What the fuck is this max revive? Southern patch of grass. Upper right corner. Hidden. What corner is the upper right corner if the southern patch of grass is a big fucking blob? Maybe past the trees over here? It's the one that's the opposite of the lower left corner. Oh, I'm being a fucking idiot. I'm still in the uh, warehouse loop. Once you get the key, you have to go into the Found building it. proper. So it's the upper right corner of the left side of the grass patch. Which okay. is stupid. Is it hidden? Yeah, it's a hidden item. I Bo see. Both of the max revives I found were hidden items. That explains why we didn't find them yet. Okay, next. 217. Oh, no, Florama. Um, one tile to the west of the yellow flowers in the center. Yeah, let's do that one. I don't think we need to, like, necessarily all actually find the revive. No, in fact, I, my vote was going to be whoever finds the revive. First one to get there gets to choose the... It's their revive to pick the well, trio. I'm going to choose after we discuss what to choose. <laughs> well, my, cho not, my choice I... is a group consensus. Oh, well, yeah, mine is not at all. I'm not even going after because I'm dawdling enough as it is, let alone I'm doing group consensus chasing I items. Might do, I might throw out my recommendation first, but... Yeah, uh, we're going to... I'll, I'll be Max Revive Collector Man so that we can track the number of Max Revives. Sure, that's three so far, if you're counting the one I found. Yeah, which I don't have yet. Well, go fucking get it. You gotta clear out those trainers anyway, but it doesn't matter until both yeah. you and Garrett get through the so, building. So, we haven't been to the back part of Florama Meadow at all yet. That's I like... have. Oh. Is how it you... the one that you surf to? I'm pretty sure. Probably, yeah. I'm trying to remember you how to get up, there. Exactly. You go up. I accidentally found it when I was in Ironworks, I think okay. is what happened. That's what I was thinking, I... but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I think I came out of Ironworks, surfed down, went to that area, and I'm like, oh, there's a ledge I can jump down. Oh, I'm in this meadow now. That's weird. I think that's a roughly oh, what happened. I don't have a surf mod on me. I would assume it's probably hidden there, then, if you didn't see a ball. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, guess I it, didn't it's even look. looking like... The, it is, actually, yeah, that one is hidden for sure. I can see on the dock uh it's looking like that's kind of the thing with max revise for the most part is they're hidden although was the one in the building wasn't hidden right it was not hidden that's the first one we've seen that's not hidden i like rarely use my detector inside so yeah i was um god do i just delete moonblast here for surf because i'm lazy i think so it doesn't matter as much in uh this no, since we can just free tutors. Alright, let's look at all this dead shit. We've only got four groups out of all the- there's a lot of dead here. Four groups are dead final. Yep. 
Why am I seeing famous chefs in Dead Final? Are they Dead Final? They must be. I'll, I'll check to see four, if I've four got Four sounds there. right. Four is um, what I think I seen last I peeked in there today. I have Sanchu in my box acting like he's just happy and yeah, it, it's tagged dead final on the um, the dock. I think I remember this coming up where I was like, are they also perma dead? I don't remember. Just check check your boxes, see if you guys threw them in dead. Yeah, I have perma yeah, dead. I, I, I'm sure yeah. it's in there because I remember having four, and um, it's oh, the four yeah. that are in the spreadsheet. Yeah. You have a specific perma death box, Garrett. Yep. So do then I. Then it perma dead. Okay, I'll yep. fix that on mine then. Yeah, I have our. Gen 1 starters. Is I, I did want to go back and like make sure that's correct. Actors are permadead. Uh, Eevees are permadead. And chefs are permadead. That's Those what I'm four. seeing, yeah. Okay. We've had, yeah, and then a bunch of revives. Well, four revives, it looks like. So the meadow's got like a ton of items, but a lot of them are not substantial. There's like a PP up, a hyper potion, like. I was gonna look to see if I had if I found it when I was there. Okay. I doubt it, I did. It's it's basically in the middle of the like flower section hidden. You probably didn't and, find oh, it. No, I probably I can imagine I might have found the PP up or something like that. Yeah, because a lot of them are at like the end of paths carved in the flowers, but that one's just in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh okay. All right, to the ice route. Let's find that one. So apparently we got like five revives float around here. That's about all we're gonna get until Victory Road. Yeah, so I don't think we should pick all of these right now. I agree. No, we need well, to I mean, sit on them. Yeah, that we can sit on these because they're not yeah. like the post-fight ones where we kind of yeah. that's became the stipulation is we pull the trigger on those as soon as we earn them. Right. I I would uh I would say that we hoard these until we absolutely need to use them. Um, I'm thinking uh, and this is just a possibility, but uh, uh, minerals is a pretty good trio for us. That's uh. Crobat for me, Golem for Jesse, and Lucario for Garrett. Yeah, I mean, that's one we can keep an eye on. Yeah, um, I think Kabutops was my only rock type. Or no, Glalie's also rock type, so yeah, I've got rock types again, but... Gen 3 starters are usernames, that's uh, also a possibility. Yeah. yeah. I think it's... Uh... Okay, this is near but... a skier here somewhere. Gets me another fire starter, though, and I don't really need one. I How need funny would it be pros. if there was exactly seven max revives available in this game? Seven Dragon Balls? That'd be great. It's close. It, it's somewhere between, like, six and eight. If there's seven, I would question whether he thought about that. He probably did. So far, I'm using the base game list. And they're not changed. Well, then maybe the game developers thought of it, too. I'm looking for, like, grass I can revive, and I just, I did not get a lot of grass. Um, Shroomish is, it, well, it's Reloom, um, but All right, he's not paired with great see if we stuff. Fought this guy yet. You, man. Oh, wait. The fuck I heard. Oh, that's a four. Eric said he was leaving? I heard. No, he just AFK'd again. Oh, yeah. I forget that we do that when he does that. Uh, who this? Sean! That's not who I'm looking for. I'm not looking for Sean. So I'm never going to say spacecraft is a bad idea. So that's my Mr. Mime. Cartoon cats get, would give me a grass type back with cacturn. That's a tiny child hiding in that snowbank. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing in there, guy? I guess I still do have Tangela. I could turn him into Tangrowth. 
he must be paired with something really shitty because he has not come out. No, he's not. He's paired with Curlia and Nuzleaf. They just yeah, never I think we out. just never had the right situation to use him on. Ah, oh, fuck, what was this guy's name? I just missed it. Okay, he's Swine of the Dead. Swine of the Dead. <laughs> what in the fuck is up with this guy's moveset? Oh, I'm on the wrong tab, even. I'm gonna exit here, because I know how to get back here now. But I'm gonna do some move stuff, because... My Jinx is... I don't think she's gonna need anything but Ice Beam, but... She's got really terrible moves otherwise. Well, I guess I'm looking at it. Well, this is probably Bjorn. Speaking of bears, you guys see that we're getting the uh, fucking Ursa Luna form and DLC for uh, Scarlet Violet? No, nope. it's not. It's, what's that? Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Ursa Rings, Evo. Oh. Cool. The only thing I'd seen, the last thing I seen was Brachiosaur, um, uh, Raikou. Yeah, we've got, um, apparently some of the Hisuian Evos from Arceus are finally showing up in a normal game. <laughs> oh, gotcha. That's what we're getting. Okay. We get, uh, Basque Legion and Ursa Luna. I don't know if Did any of the other ones the are. New, in, but... new Sinistee? Like, and it's not an Evo, it's like a distinct uh, species. Is it? I thought it was a new Evo. Uh, I saw something about it being a distinct species. What is, what is the Sinistee? It's got a name like it. Uh, yeah, I don't But it's Cha, like Matcha. Yeah, there's, there's so I, there oh, was a Polchageist. Pokedex leak, and the Pokedex leak had two Sinistra and Polchageist. So we might yeah. be getting two versions of that. Unless it's like an alternate. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be um, like Toad I'm School. Not seeing, I'm not seeing any Sinistra. There's only a, a that, Polchageist. That's a leak. That's a leak thing. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's like um, Toad Scroll in Wiglet. Where, it, where it's like an entirely separate evil line that just looks like them. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Max Revive. Max Revive is near Bjorn. Bjornson fan person. Is this shit? There it is. Yeah, well, you guys looks cool, cool though because I'm. Mean, it's another grass ghost, and he looks neat. Both of uh, there were two. Let's see. Here. Okay, yeah, biologically separate species from Sinistee, so it is a. Uh, they are doing like the toad squirrel thing. Yeah. Okay. So the Diplin thing. Yeah, that's another. It's like a fucking caramel apple or whatever from Flapple. That's a split evo though, right? Yeah. But it looks weird because like Polchageist has this like weird like spoon thing he's holding. And that also looks like what's on Diplin's head. So I wonder if that's like related. Did you see Okie Dogi? He looks fucking yeah. cool. The, the, uh, the legendary grouping, pretty amusing naming scheme. Hunky Dory, Okie Doki. Whatever the other did, ones were. Did they reveal the the Ente one? Uh, that's got yeah, whatever paradox name it's got, right? But no, I I'm just wondering, is the Ente out there? Do we know if it kept the dinosaur theme? Oh, um, this is in oh oh the oh. next one. It's the Indigo Disc. It's not in the Teal Mask, which is the first one that's coming out. But it's yeah. Iron Crown is the Ente one. Is it okay? Yeah, I can remember what we've. Yeah, seen. it's Iron Crown and Raging Bolt, and there's a. Uh, no, I Iron Crown? Crown is the um, uh, the deer thing. That's the counterpart, but it's not Entei. I don't think we have an Entei paradox yet. Oh, it's related okay. to Cobalion. Yeah. Yeah, I think and the, the Entei is still completely good. unseen, but everybody's pretty sure it's a dinosaur, because right. the other two are. Yeah. What, are, what are we missing? Like a good, like, uh, Ceratopsian or something, maybe? I'd say that'd probably be the... And I just found a a mock-up of someone's belief that, yeah, Ceratopsian for Entei. Which, because, yeah, we have a Theropod, we have a Sauropod. 
Ceratopsian. Yeah. Also, uh, amusingly enough, this mock-up also it makes it more look like the uh, the Stego Ceratops from <laughs> Doctor Wu. There's the Max Revive. Did you guys see the the Duraludon Evo too? Oh yeah, the um, the, I have not the, seen the bridge Duraludon. Yeah, which is a proper. A Duraludon. Even need an Evo. Yeah, that's what everybody was saying. It's like actually a Duraludon Evo. It's not like a split Duraludon Evo is thing. 535 base stat already. Yeah, everybody was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Okay, I think that's all the max revisor you can get right now, except for the one in Veilstone. So I'm heading back and I'm going to start clearing more trainers. That was five total? Uh, Yeah, I believe it's five once I get the last one. Oh, shit. Yes. All right, out of, out of question. Because uh, it looks like, if I'm reading this right, I will lose access to... Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to fix Melodic Set. I will lose access to Protect, I think. Let me make sure that's true. Okay, no, that's not true because I can TM. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to grab Disable for now. to here. I made sure to grab crunch just in case because that's <clears throat> that's maybe it'll come up. It just it's a good move to have on frost last I think just in case. You never know. Although maybe it switches its attack type completely. I didn't check that. Uh I think it's a special attack or so crunch might not be that nope, good. No, it is perfectly balanced. 80/80. Oh. Really? Really? That's yep. surprising. Huh. Crunch is just good because it's an 80 power move. Well, the the yeah. only thing is, is like, what does Crunch do for you that Ghost doesn't? I don't know. I'm just grabbing it because after I evolve it, it won't ever have back to it again. Fair enough. If I'm I just... delete it, I delete it, but I'm just grabbing it because it's free. Yeah, and yeah. now it's on there. No reason not to. Okay. Yeah. And that's the same thing I was doing with Disable over Protect. It loses access yeah. to Disable. You, you might as well have the moves you can't get back on it until you need something else. For sure. Yes. Yeah, I think that I think that's the problem I have personally with dark typing. Like the way it's balanced is that it's got way too many redundancies on offense with ghost typing. Yeah, where well, they could have, and that's just a, a thing that sucks. There is like they could have just made ghost better in Gen two, but no, it's like here's one pure ghost. Have fun. Yeah. And you can't get it till post game, so even more fun. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, so our little heart gold soul silver ROM hack, right? Yep. We've we've had that on the back burner for many many moons. Um, yep. We could, if if getting all the teams and stuff and encounters put together for that seems like it's too challenging or too time consuming or whatever, or people running out of ideas, we could just I could just try to cook up a special version I of mean, Heart Gold Soul mean, Silver Force. You dance around it, but I'm pretty sure Joe is done. Your, not your, I wasn't sure if he was. One. I wasn't sure if it was just no, you or not. I'm so. not done with my trainer shit. Oh, okay. I thought you were. No. Yeah. So it, if... Barely even started looking at it. If that's not something people think they're going to get through soon, either of you, I could try to do a quick like ROM hack of it for us just based on some of my ideas I had or whatever. I mean, if it's that, something that you're eager to get to, I can put more work into it. I mean, it's not going to be the next game we play anyway, so we still have a lot of time. And if I have to do all the, the hacking myself, all the team building, that's going to take time out of my busy schedule too. So right. it's just an idea I'm floating out there. I'm not in favor of it necessarily. I think we got way ahead of ourselves <laughs> with that because we have so many more games that we haven't even cleared yet. And I agree. That was I like think, a big yeah, twist on I, it. I I, I don't remember if the if I I originally floated the heart gold thing before we even started doing the 3ds games, but maybe I threw it out there with like the idea that we're kind of staying in the DS and Game Boy Advance era. I'm Which not sure. I had no interest in being like that. I yeah. prefer the newer games. Yeah, there's there's definitely plenty of other things we can get to, so we can still leave it as like a grand rom hacking plan where everybody does their own third and just do five minutes here and there when inspiration strikes and see where we get eventually all right so as it turns out though um 
my Frostlass had a special attack nature, so it, this one is a special attacker. Okay. Oh, and, and my idea I did have for that uh, was to actually make like the proper Gen 2 game. So, like, nothing past Gen 2, and then buff all the shitty Gen 2 mons, probably just to, like, their evolutions from Gen 4, like Murkrow gets Honchkrow stats, stuff like that. And then, like, build encounter tables and teams that actually use the Johto Pokemon in Johto. That alone already has me sold. Yeah. Because, like, even when you get a ROM hack of HeartGold Soul Silver, it's almost always universally, like, here's all the Gen 4 Pokemon. So it doesn't really capture, like, the spirit of Johto specifically. That was kind of my thought. I think that's a cool idea. Psycho Boost is not a move I was sure I was even aware of, and Jinx just learned it. That's interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, uh, that's the fun thing with ROM hacks, is you get to see a lot of moves that are learned by, like, three Pokemon normally. And... It's like a Psychic Giga Impact. That's not even what I thought that move was. <laughs> Wait, Special what the fuck is that? Thing. Well, I think you're, you're thinking of Psycho Shift as well. Yeah, you I absolutely think am of. thinking of Psycho Shift, you're right. So it, this is a special type 140 power ag 90 accuracy it is um, the signature move of deoxys is it that's yeah. interesting yeah it sharply reduces special attack uh for recoil yeah that's uh those moves are good nuke, but it would I've, suck if it missed i've been using overheat on uh camera a lot in my um sandlock that's the fire version of that move Throw a wide lens on there for the 99% accuracy, and then you just click it for the kill and swap out afterwards. I'm just going to give her Psychic. Yeah, the problem with, yeah, if you miss, you die, right? Yeah. That's She's not pretty generally strong. the problem camera up to have, so. Oh, and she can learn Shadow Ball. I don't think Mr. Mime could learn Shadow Ball, so that's pretty nice. Jinx has a and really weird learned... moveset. It, she it, learned uh, Nasty Plot, too. Ooh. Faster than Mr. Mime. Uh, he's just got the really good special defense to go along with his special attack. And he's fast. All right, I can slow the game back down now that I'm not hunting max revives. Fairy gets dra hits hard on what? Dragon and what else? Dragon, dark, fighting. Uh, is it fighting? Okay. It's fighting. Hmm. Mm, that is it. Okay. I got to be a big fairy fan. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I've, I've liked fairy quite a bit ever since it came out. Yeah, offensively, the big thing with Fairy type that most people use it for is it's like dragon. a good neutral coverage type. Oh, okay. I just it... figured because dra fuck dragons, but yeah, it sucks. It fucks dragons stay up, but right, like... which is so does which is why I've never liked Fairy because I like dragon types, so never been into fairies. So this scientist like... just went like X defend on Curlia turn one. Turn two, swap Curlia out straight to Magneton. <laughs> Which is, you know, certainly a strat. Um, it's definitely, uh, yeah, it's a button that you can click. Who am I to question this fellow scientist on his decisions? I do not need Sheer Cold, thank you. And now Curlia comes back. Does it just not have moves? Oh, I'll die so I don't get to see what moves it has. Great. He cannot learn Thunderbolt, but Mr. Mime can. She Ooh, learned Giga Drain. That this. Would be cool. Get your Porygon, Evo. I already did, because I didn't know where Dubious Disc was, and I bought it from Game Corner. But we never even used him, so I could have waited. Oh, I already found the key, and I found like no items looking around, actually. You can call mine, too. Oh, mine might be better than Nasty Plot on her. 
on a Jinx, yeah, she's got yeah. decent special defense, right? She can actually... Yeah, so that could put her in a position where she could soak up more hits. Yeah. Oh. Wait, is that... Yeah, what I think I'm gonna give her fuck? line over death and all that. Hmm. Uh, Frostlass completely switching things up here. You're what? supposed to have Snow Cloak or Cursed Body as a hidden ability. I gotta levitate Frostlass. Oh, yeah, I think you can have levitate. Not according to Cerebi in Gen 7. Well, let's look at yeah. changes. Yeah. yeah, that's gotta be a Dreano thing. Yeah, Snow Cloak becomes uh, split between levitate and Snow Cloak. Because it's well, a ghost. It's... Yeah, just... Uh, it's a good immunity. I'd rather have the snow cloak and just build hail strats, but yeah. I it's mean, always nice to be able to just get a free swap in if you know a ground type Yeah, coming, and it's ice type, so it's good for countering ground types. So now it's really good for countering ground types? Don't kill well, me. When we run into a ground type, I'll keep that in mind, but I'd probably still end up doing something else. Yeah. I, I think I'd usually build. prefer levitate just because I don't have to think about it. Whereas like a hail strat, I gotta like build a whole weird thing. I don't in this because I don't count switch strats in this fucking. I don't count on them at all in this, especially like normally it's not even a concern for. Me. But mm -hmm. in this in this hack, we've been punished for switch strats heavily. Pinks can actually get dry skin in this. That's interesting. That makes it really, really hate fire. That's a normal thing somewhere. Maybe hidden ability? I don't even know what to build. Yeah, this dr thing dry for. skin is its hidden ability normally. More speed? Okay, yeah, it's fire. Normally, just fire does more damage to it. And then Sunny Day, like hurts it every round or something yeah and then you get recovered by water so you heal during yes, rain that, that's you the important water. part about it yeah i still want to uh, get in the situation where we're doing doubles and my toxic rope out so i can do that just surf and keep healing him yeah <laughs> good luck on a three-way soul link well we got that big I, I assume it's a double battle coming up with the two listed with 12 Mon, Mars and Jupiter. Yeah, but was oh, yeah, that with it's... a teammate, though? Like a friendly oh, teammate? It, it may be. I don't know. That might be a Marfman thing. Why are they all fucking bug trainers, goddammit? Which is going to be fucking miserable. Not that Marfman's team's bad, but just like... I guess it'd be, it'll be nice that his stuff will take hits for us once in a while. Doesn't he always lead with, like, an Alakazam or something, too? Uh, Alakazam or Metagross or something oh, like yeah, that. yeah, it was with Marfman. It's, right. Oh, yeah, I think it's Metagross because it's weak to... Uh, I, I always want to Earthquake stuff and oh, he kills his Metagross. Knock my headphones off. No, an Earthquake would kill his Alakazam, too. <laughs> you hit yourself hey, I just like killing idiot. Marfman shit. Uh, half my team is fairy type. That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tra tracks. I will be right back. I guess I'm just gonna put more speed into Frostlass. I don't know what else to do with it. Um. It's not gonna wall anything. Oh, Frostlass was changed to be... You're, so you're right that Frostlass normally is a split attacker. In this, it's uh, been buffed special attack. Okay. So yeah, speed is good. Special attack is good. It's not terribly defensive. So yeah, do do like fast sweeper with special attack. That's probably your best bet. Yep. What the fuck were all these items Joe was talking about? Who knows? Or maybe he talked about after the key? Oh, well, here's this teleporter. 
Oh, I haven't been to this one. All right, fair enough, fair enough. There's Snatch. Eric, kind of ran over it. Yeah, there. What were your thoughts on the CM Punk stuff? Okay, maybe he actually oh, this is gone. Guy's gone. Okay. Just he, he sort of ever since the brawl out, he's been kind of he's kind of had this whole cloud of bullshit hang over the whole company. Yeah. Yeah, that is very true. I don't know how much you've been paying attention. But... Uh, I I keep seeing stuff about the back scene stuff, backstage stuff. Like this Jack Perry does stuff wasn't even the first. He also apparently went off on Ryan ne and I think another couple other people or something like had not physical altercations or but just like him chasing people off that would have helped flesh out Collision. Yeah. That also are especially like Ryan Nemeth, he's an internet so his BTE stuff. Oh yeah. It's like that seems like a really bad guy to chase off. I know he's on BTE, but I don't know if he's if he does other stuff. Two I have access to the bottom work panel east of the first pair of guards? What? What are you looking for? That Max revive. Oh, um, just go through the teleporters and grab all the items. I did. None of them were the max he's, survivor. Yeah, he's, oh. he's not finding anything like you is, were. Is it in the main building? Yes. So you have to like so. leave the warehouse part where you get the key. You do. Okay, that that would be it then. Uh, I just didn't leave yet. It should be, yeah, it's a pretty straight path to Cyrus then. Okay. Are you at but, Cyrus? Oh yeah, I've been at Cyrus for a while. Okay. You, um... Uh, go through, and then there's a middle part with a TV room and a scientist. You run past that, and then there's two teleporters, and I think it's the top one that gets you to the max revive. Okay. How's the uh, TV grinding going, Garrett? AFK. Okay. <laughs> that answers that. He's on the shitter. Hell yeah. No, I wouldn't take a shit midstream. That's too dangerous. What if your mic unmutes in the middle of it or something? Yeah. If then it would be content and it'd be awesome. <laughs> I bet we could get Austin to live stream taking a shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We wouldn't even have to ask him. He'd probably just do it and let us know. No, but I have no such qualms about refilling water or taking a piss. You gotta get... Oh, I need to go heal. I didn't go back to the Pokemon Centaur. Also, as far as like this, yeah, Jesse, Joe got to Cyrus over an hour ago. Oh, I don't, I don't care. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, he started doing trainers off video, so. Yeah. I'm not like begrudging having to wait or anything. I figure as long as we're catching the in-between content on, on at least one person's screen out of the three, it's fine. Like, if you do the trainers between episodes or whatever, I, I don't think it matters. Actually, I think I heard, I read in a news report somewhere that most of our viewers are getting a third eye installed so they can watch all of our streams at the same time. Mm. Well, really, technology is amazing. Uh, what is the cap for this Cyrus fight? 58. 59 for me. Okay, great. Nobody's that cat. That's cool. And I only overleveled on two of my mods. <laughs> only by one level. I mean, it happened I naturally. I tried not to. Yeah. yeah, but there were a lot of fucking trainers. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah, so I, I got really shit. close to Fedegros, too. I, like, I had him just edging, and I accidentally swapped into him. So I needed him for something. Alright. Gonna at least keep going here until we find this max revive. Nothing else. I think I'd kinda like to just finish clearing the trainers before Cyrus at least, maybe. 
I don't know. We're on an hour, though. I, I, I assume we're not doing another one at night at this point. Or do we want to? I don't care. I thought we were going to get Cyrus. I'm down for it, yeah. If we want to. Oh, yeah, I'm Same in a different time zone than you guys. That's right. <laughs> I forgot I, for a minute. I don't care. I just I guess it's more up to Joe as the one that I figured would have to call it before the rest of us. I'm, I'm good tonight. Um... But yeah, Jesse, it's later for you, so... Oh, I don't give a shit. I stay up till 3 a.m. pretty consistently. My, my sleep schedule's been fucked for... ever. Yeah, well, me too. I've been trying to make it better, but... It's been better, um, you know. I've had a job for five years now, so that's helped. Yeah, I, I tell myself, well, I'm an astronomer, it's okay if I'm up all night, but it, it's, it is a, an excuse at best. Alright, well then, I'm going to kill this Porygon Z that I accidentally got into a fight with, and then uh, we can wrap this episode up here. And then I'll do the rest of this before we fight Cyrus, uh, whenever the next episode starts.